difference between find and locate command. Now we recently learned what how we could use find command and how we could use locate command to find the files that usually people forget once they created. So now um, we need to in this lesson we will learn what is exact difference between find and locate command why we would use one and not use the other or, or vice versa so locate command uses a pre-built database which should be regularly updated while find command iterates over a file system to locate files thus locate is much faster than find but can be inaccurate if the database can be seen as a cache is not updated so in simple words the difference between locate and find command is locate command has a database that it maintains so if that database is updated and then you try to find it using the locate command then it will be the search result is going to be a lot faster Whereas find command is actually relies on file system to do the searches. It does not have a database. That is the main differences between these two commands. To have the, the database updated whenever a new files are created, then you have to run the command update db. Or if you do not run this command, then by default, Perhaps after a few minutes or hours, the, the system or the operating system will run or update the locate command database itself. But you, if you do not want to wait and you want to get the result right away, then of course you have to run the update db command. Now, further, without further ado, let's get into our Linux machine and I'll show you exactly what is the difference between both of these commands that we have learned in the previous lesson. I'll go straight into my Linux machine. I am logged in as myself and my host name is my first Linux VM. Okay, so now if I create a file, let's say touch and let's call it Susan and hit enter. Now where am I, which directory I'm, am I in? So you do pwd, I am in my home I of salt directory. Okay, perfect. Now if I wanted to find the file, I would run the command find dot, meaning this current location, dash name, Susan, and hit enter. And now it's telling you the Susan file is in this current directory. You could also do the same thing if you could specify the fully path or absolute path, which is home, I of Zol, and then you hit enter. Then it'll tell you that this Susan file is located in home, I of Zol. If you run the locate command on Susan, you think what, what will happen here? It will not find it. Why? Because the locate command relies on its own database, a local database, and that database is not updated yet. So for that database to know, hey, there is a new file that has just been created called Susan, you need to know about it. Then what we need to do is we need to run the command update db. When you run it, you will get that error message saying update data db cannot open a temporary file for var lib mlocate mlocate db. By the way, this is the actual database file where all the files information um, on the file system are stored. So it's saying it cannot update. Why? Because or it cannot find it or cannot open it because we are not root. So become root. And now run update db. It has completed. Exit out of root. Make sure now you are yourself. Now you run the locate command on Susan and hit enter. And there you go. It finds it. It finds it so fast. So locate command, you do not have to specify the path 
where it has to go and look for. You do not have to specify the options dash name. It's that simple. You will run locate command followed by the name of the file that you're looking for and it will find it in a split of a second for you. That's why locate command searches is a lot faster. However, it relies on the database file. So make sure every time you create a file and you want to do a locate command on that file, run the command update database. So that's the main difference that I wanted to cover in this lesson. I know I had a lot of um, people, a lot of students ask me uh, about the find and locate command. So I added this lesson for you guys so there is no confusion about it. And now you know everything about these two commands. All right, enjoy.